That has got to be the hardest bumper I've ever had to mount. I mean, that screw underneath here is just, or that nut, it's hard to get a... Hey guys, welcome back to Revolution XRC. Welcome to the next part of my G-Made Sawback Sport build. In this part of the series, we're gonna mount the bumper as well as some of the electronics uh, components like the receiver box cover, the battery zip ties, as well as the wheels and tires. For step 31, or the bumper, you'll need two uh, M3 flange nuts and two M3 by eight screws. Here are the Team K and K equivalents. That has got to be the hardest bumper I've ever had to mount. I mean, that screw underneath here is just, or that nut, it's hard to get a handle on while you're screwing this bumper in. But that completes step 31. For step 32, you'll need these following parts. These are two M3x8 tapping screws. You'll also need an ESC and receiver of your choice. For this build, I'm probably going to go with the Hobby Wing 1080 brushed ESC. I'll put a link to that in the description below. And for the radio, I'm still unsure if I'm going to use my FlySky GT3C system or my FlySky GT5 system. So depending on which one I choose, it'll prompt which uh, receiver I use in this truck. Either the FSBS6 for the FlySky GT5 or a FSGR3E for the FlySky GT3C. And I'll put a link to those in the description below as well. But for now, we'll go ahead and continue uh, with this part of the build. Now, regarding these M3x8 uh, tapping screws, unfortunately, the Team k, &K uh, screw kit does not come with tapping screws. They do have some extra M3x8 uh, regular hex screws, but uh, and they'll probably work, but I think I'm just going to stick with using the Phillips screws for now. So you will have to use a Phillips screwdriver for this part. Now just lightly tighten it for now because I don't actually have my receiver in. or my ESC sitting here for that matter. And that pretty much completes step 32. For step 33, you'll just need these zip ties. Um, actually, you'll only need two of them. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna thread this zip tie through this tray right here. in order to zip tie the battery. Now I'm actually not going to end up using this. I'll probably use Velcro straps instead. Uh, I just don't like using these zip ties. So with that being said, that completes step 33. For step 34, you'll need these following parts and basically all the hardware that comes packaged with the wheels. For step 34, you'll need the following. And as far as the hardware goes, you'll notice that two of the screws are longer than the rest. And basically what these are for is to help you mount the, the wheels or the B-locks. So these are the longer ones.
You want the deeper side on the inside of the wheel and the shallower side on the outside. All right, that's one wheel and tire combination complete. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing for the other three. So we'll be right back when I finish all of them. All right, all four tires are mounted on the wheels and that completes step 34 and 35. For step 36, you'll need these parts off of the axle tree, these M4 nuts and these pins.
And that completes step 36. This also completes this part of the build series, uh, some of the electronics uh, trays and, and receiver boxes as well as the wheels and tires. Uh, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for the next part of my Kingdom Solvac build series. Thanks for watching.